Okay, so hey everybody, welcome to Homesteading with the Morgans. Um, today is August 29th, 2018. We are going to start a new series. Um, it's going to be a $20 a week food storage challenge um, where you spend $20 and you get as much food as you can get. Um, we have a lot of our friends that don't homestead and don't can. Like here's some of our stuff. I'll do that another video another day showing you my stuff. But anyway, that we have friends ask us how, how to put up food storage. Well, this right here, everything right here on this table I spent $20 and 55 cents and I'm missing two cans of ravioli because the kids have decided to get into it. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend $20 a week. I might do different stores. I might just stick to Walmart. I don't know. And I'm going to show you guys what, what I get for $20 and I hope it inspires you guys to do it yourself. This, um, I actually did this on the 21st. That was last week. I'm just now getting around to making this video. So you might see two this week. Um, but I spent, $20.55 on all of this right here. I'm going to break it down real quick and go through the prices and um, show you what I got. So the first thing, we got five pounds of white rice and it was $2.92. The next thing, we got two pounds of pinto beans and that was $1.53. Okay, and then the green beans, I got 12 cans and they were 30, 38 cents a piece. All right, the next thing, the raviolis were 88 cents. Like I said, I bought three and the kids have decided to get into these. Um, so there's only one to show for this video. And let's see the tomato paste. These were 30 cents a piece. And these are really good to have in your food storage because you can make soup, sauce, you can do all kinds of stuff with tomato paste. I got four of those. <clears throat> um, let's see what's next. And the tomato sauce, I got four of those. And these were 20 cents a piece. And the next thing was the corn. We got four cans of corn, um, and those were 38 cents a piece. Let's see, the next thing is gonna be the, I got two cans of pineapple. And you know what, guys, look at your prices because these are the pineapple slices, like in rounds. These were 77 cents a can for a 20 ounce can. The pineapple chunks in a 20 ounce can, they were $1.38, I think. So look at the prices, the same thing, they're just cut different. Um, then we got the salt. We did got the non-iodized salt. And I got two of those. They were 36 cents a piece. And then I got the baking soda right here. Let's see. It was 46 cents. And let's see. The tea bags. I got a box of tea bags. It's got 24 in them. And it was a dollar. Let's see. Dollar 48. What else? Oh, and the peanut butter. I got one little jar of peanut butter. And it was $1.18. So, I mean, I feel like we did pretty good for $20. So it's doable. And if you, even if you did $10 a week, you can get half of this stuff. So we are going to challenge you guys to do this challenge with us. So like I said, this was $20.55. If you ask me, it's quite a bit of food. Um, it is possible to start a food storage pantry with $20 a week. Um, this was last week on the 21st, so you guys might see two videos this week. We're actually going to go shopping today. I'm going to do another $20 challenge. Um, I don't know if it's going to be at Walmart or Aldi, but we're going to do one of the two. And I will upload that video. We're going to do this series for at least a month. If you guys like what you see here, please um, comment below and let us know if you like it. And we'll continue to do the series. Um, but I, like I said, we had some friends asking, like, how do you put up food storage? How do you do this? How can you afford it if you're on a budget? Well, here you go. $20 and... You see what I've got right here. Um, it's a start for a lot of people. This is just adding to our stockpile. Um, so if you like what you see here, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.